Go. Hi, this is Jackass. And yeah, it's a couple people over This is <laughs> not Jackass. This is John. Jackass. We never get spring or fall. Nice, Kibera. Halfway through. Stop them. Time. Oh, thank God. Yeah. That's a beating us up. <laughs> what the hell? So I just went to Wendy's. I never tried their spicy chicken sandwich. That's crazy, right? Man, that was so dope. Those rounds are so much fun. We did three rounds and I felt like I could have done 10. Even though it looked like I was getting tired, I felt like, well, I wanted to do like 10 because you just have so much fun in there. Super basic, but I like basic. Look how, much ten look how tender the meat is when you get it from Wendy's. I feel like the meat, the meat for the chicken in particular at Wendy's is better than uh, Burger King and McDonald's. Not that I'm saying it's better than Burger King as a whole, but the meat of the chicken is better. It's a giant diet Sprite they gave me, but I already got some of this stuff, some coconut water, which I need to drink the entirety of to rehydrate after 
sparring and doing rounds and stuff like that. This entire bottle's got 44 grams of carbs. I 100% should have got like two of these. I didn't think I would like it this much. All right, I'm gonna show you the uh, the method, okay? I think I've shown you guys this before. Damn, that's good. I think my uh, my kickboxing gym is opening up at the end of this month, or maybe the beginning of July, so I'm so stoked for that. I'm curious, where are, you guys leave a comment. What city do you live in and are the gyms open in your city yet? I'm curious. I only know Florida. Obviously because I used to live there. I know Florida gyms are like pretty much open now. I see on Instagram. But over here in Mass, they're not open. I'm just curious as to like where are other gyms open yet? I know they're doing like level one and level two protocol and all this crazy stuff. Only a certain amount of people in the gym at a time. Man, I definitely should have got two different sandwiches. It's all good. It just means I'm cutting. You can see how my body composition is currently when I was sparring earlier in the video. I'm not looking too bad. I'm like around 165-ish. Still some muscle loss from obviously they're in the quarantine, but slowly building back up. Man, I need to turn my car on because AC. Jaws is right there, so I think I'm gonna go get like an ice cream or something. Yo, if you are a gamer and you have not played The Last of Us 2, oh my goodness, that game is so good. So good! Man! Unbelievable. Like, I played the first one, the first The Last of Us. I actually I actually played the remastered version that's for... Because it originally came out for PS3, and then they remastered it for PS4. So it was just a PS3 game on PS4. Cleaner graphics, but it's still meant originally for the PlayStation 3 engine. This one... I sound like such a nerd. <laughs> this one is meant for the PlayStation 4 engine. So dope. Oh my god. The Last of Us, the first one, was amazing. Amazing. The game is epic. If you have not played it, go play it, even if you're not a gamer. But The Last of Us 2, the first hour of the game is way better than the first Last of Us. It's crazy. It's just crazy. I got Ben & Jerry's peanut butter dough. Hopefully this is good. 220 calories. I didn't get the high calorie one because I'm cutting. No, I'm not cutting. Ooh, it's like the perfect... Meltedness, if that's even a word. This is gonna be good. I already like it, and I haven't even eaten a peanut butter dough part yet. What was I saying? The Last of Us 2. I really hope at least one of you guys plays it, or is playing it right now, and can just like get in the. Actually, no, I don't even. Want, I don't even. I hope you play it, but don't even leave a comment about it because I don't want you to spoil spoil something for me because I'm gonna go play it after this. I just ate, I just ate a peanut butter part and it was good, really good. Like, if you're a fan of uh, The Walking Dead, The Last of Us is. 
like the walking dead on steroids it's so much so much better than the storyline of the walking dead it's so much better it's so graphic it's like it's like no one is safe in that game people are dying left and right you know everyone's trying to survive you know rations and food is like scarce you have to go out and scavenge scavenge or scavenge I don't know whichever one is the correct way to say it you have to go out and scavenge food and stuff to survive yeah it's just so dope like oh man there's this one part I want to talk about but in case any of you are playing it or plan to play it I don't want to spoil it I've only I haven't even done it made a dent in this thing I don't like chocolate ice cream by itself, nor do I like vanilla ice cream by itself. It has to have something in it, or I just, it just doesn't do it for me. I just, ugh. I like texture, you know? Cookie dough, chocolate chips, there has to be something in it. When it's just by itself, any kind of ice cream, whether it's strawberry or, well, strawberry sucks, but whether it's like vanilla, chocolate, whatever. Man, my boy John, who I just sparred with earlier, in that video, in this video, there was one part, I put it on the screen, where he almost landed a spinning back fist right, like, it, I felt it, I slipped it at the last moment. It just literally grazed my head. And I remember, like, at the time, I was just like, oh, well, okay, I slipped that spinning back fist. But when I went back and watched it, I'm like, yo, if that had landed, I would have definitely rocked me. Man, John is so good. I want to get to his level. Grapple really well too, but like his bread and butter is striking. Like his kickboxing, man. I, in my opinion, like he's not—he's a kickboxer. Before anything else, like his base is Muay Thai, but his striking, his striking, and again, he's not really like he's just sparring at my level. Like his striking is good enough to be in the UFC. He's kickboxing alone. 100%. Have you guys know any other flavors of Ben & Jerry's that I should probably try? Don't hesitate to drop a comment. What have I tried? Let's see, Ben & Jerry's. Obviously my favorite flavor, which is pistachio. This is PB peanut butter dough. Which is, this is a lower calorie one. Obviously, the ones are higher calorie than like a white and green label. This is a lower calorie one. And blue label. PB dough. Um, I've always tried spit, 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 pist, pistachio, which I mentioned. Um, cherry Garsha. That one sucks. I remember trying that so, like, way back in the day. And it's terrible. They need to get rid of that flavor. Cherry Garsha um, Ben and Jerry's is is for me is just as bad as um pistachio. This is a pistachio ice cream I hate. Pistachio, I, it was in one of my videos. Me and Nick were actually both eating it at the same time. We're like, it tastes like nothing. This, there's a pistachio ice cream I do not like, and that's how what I that, I feel that way about that ice cream as I do about Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garsha. Now I'm gonna be mad until I remember what what it was what was it it's one of those lower lower calorie ice creams that people eat one of those like macro lower ice creams ah i'm so mad i can't remember i just want to go to youtube and look at one of my old videos to see if it's there well to see it what it was i know it's there but i can't remember but yeah cherry gusha and pistachio of that flavor of ice cream so bad but pistachio ben and jerry's is legit it's my favorite this is good, bro. The higher fat Ben and Jerry's flavors are good, but since there's so much fat in them, by the time you've eaten like half of it, you're like, oh, like all the fat just hits you. It just makes you, it makes your stomach feel heavy. It's almost like if you eat a really greasy burger, you're just like, oh. You know, when you eat the lower calorie ones, they're just, they're just like perfect, just enough. Oh, this one has a nice piece of uh, peanut butter dough in it. Mm. 
Man, that was good. But yeah, I kind of want to, every week, I'm going to try try something I haven't tried from somewhere before and uh, film it for you guys, kind of give you, let you guys know what I think of it. That spicy chicken sandwich was really good. That Ben & Jerry's is really good. I think I did something like this before, but it was with... Man, I don't remember the names of those like small little pints of ice cream that are... anymore. There's two different ones. Two different brands. I can't remember. So I can't remember for the life of me. If you guys know what it is, drop a comment below and remind me. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.